Out they come, quarterback Jeff Toole, a 6'3 junior. Lobestall's in at quarterback, so Toole not starting. And here's a handoff and a run up to the 50-yard line as Washington State immediately runs behind the right side of the offensive line, blocking the way that time. Signals called, trips out to the right side, one man to the left. Ball snapped back, Lobestall throws, screen pass out to the right-hand side, and they'll run that down the right side now for a pretty good game inside the 30-yard line, down to about the 31 or 32-yard line. First reception for redshirt freshman Bobby Ratliff, 6'1", out of Etiwanda, California. And the pace that Paul Wolf talked to you about, Bob, right now the Cougs are moving it and snapping it quickly. That's 12 yards on that, and we have the whole town of Etiwanda here in the lineup Just today. Just about. Signals called, three receivers out to the left-hand side. Now here's the snap, back goes the quarterback, throws a little screen out to the right side. That ball caught out of the backfield. Pretty good run down the right-hand side, Ricky Galvin. And Galvin will take the ball down to the 11-yard line, a 15-yard gain on the little screen to the right side. Ian, you saw Galvin had a little bit of help on that play. All on the 11, they can make a first down without scoring, but the Cougars on an excellent opening drive here. Over the ball at center is Andrew Rojas, and the signal's called. They have two running backs in with the quarterback. Signals called by Lobos Dahlman in motion going through to the right side. Hand off to Galvin. Swings out to the right. Ten, the five. Touchdown, Washington State! Ricky Galvin. He started up into the line, swung sharply out to the right and headed for the goal line. And he made it from 11 yards out. First score of the season, Ricky Galvin from 11 yards out. You heard on the Cougar Road Show, Jared Carstetter Ricky said he got a bigger high five coming to the sidelines from Mike Levenseller after a big block than after a big catch. He's going to get a big high five because of the block that helped Galvin into the end zone. Ball's on the 36-yard line. It's first down. 7-0 Washington State leading early in the game. Here's the snap. The handoff goes to Moore, running to the left side, slipped the tackle, then he's up and down he goes. Hard tackle by Daniel Simmons for the Washington State Cougars that time. Simmons up off the defensive right corner made the hit. Signals called. They have man coverage tight on the outside. Back goes the quarterback. Here comes the blitz, and down he goes. Kafuzi, I think, got to him that time. It was Sikopi Kafuzi. You don't need to read his number, Bob. You can just look for the flowing hair. Now, you look to see which one has the most hair because the uh, the two linebackers, Mizell also, or Hoffman Ellis also has a pretty fair mane out there. Signals called now. Quarterback pumps the knee to make the call. Here's the snap back. Back he goes. Short drop. Here's an outside blitz, and now he's hit. And he laterals the ball away in the backfield. Running to the right-hand side is a man with the ball. I think that's Mitz. And he got it. And he's out over the line to gain at the 45 to about the 48-yard line. Lovestall showing brilliant emergency treatment of the football. Wheeled and just flipped it back. And Mitz carried it out for a first down as he brought the ball out almost to midfield to the 49-yard line. All Lobestall's work, Mitz will get a credit for an eight-yard run there. Signals called again, here's the snap. Lobestall turns, throws to the right, caught by Karstetter. And he picks up about eight before he stepped out of bounds, just short of the line to gain, and in front of the Cougar bench on the north side across from us. So Karstetter the gain on that one. They put the ball down at the 44-yard line. And Winston has come in now at the running back spot. Carl Winston is now the running back for Washington State. Cougs have four guys they'll use back there. Lobestall is ready in the quarterback slot. They have a blocker off to the right. Here's the snap. Short drop. Lobs the ball down the right side. Leaping catch down there inside the 30-yard line. And up to get the ball, Jared Karstetter. A second straight catch for the senior down at the 27. Made a great adjustment on that ball that was underthrown, but Karstetter saw it, used his hands a little bit, but that's one of his strengths, that subtle use of the hands to create position. Jared Karstetter's bigger and stronger this year, too. A lot of muscle on that frame. Signals we called. Karstetter came in, talked to the slot man on that side. There are four receivers, a wing back on the left. Now the wing on the right side moves back into the backfield in a blocking position. Signals called in the snap. A little fake in the backfield. Back to pass. Lobestall throw. Long down the right side. Caught. Touchdown, Washington State. That is Isaiah Barton. Barton caught that ball. He was tight roping the sideline. Dove across the goal line and caught the ball. He was laid out for it. 
And Isaiah Barton made the catch. He's a senior out of Los Angeles. And Barton, his first touchdown of the season, and the Cougars are up by 13. Lobestall did a very nice job waiting for that to develop. Ian, you might have had a chance to see it on the sidelines. We'll talk about it out the extra point. Yeah, find that hole and get some running room. Here's Tool with the ball again being run out of the pocket. He'll roll to the right, linebacker pursuing him. He's around the corner at the 10 and has finally run out of bounds just about there. Tool chased out of bounds that time. And it was an end, defensive end, Jack Francis, who ran him out of bounds, pursuing him all the way to the sidelines. So it'll be second down coming now for Actually, Washington State. they're going to say he stepped out of the 10, yeah, so instead of third and about a yard, it's going to be quite a ways yep, to go. That's where it is, 10-yard line. The six-yard line now of Washington State. Big gain. Here's the snap, the look left, and the throw is knocked down at the line of scrimmage. That ball blocked by Travis Long, the defensive end out of Spokane. He just straightened up, saw the pass coming in his direction with both arms up and swatted it down. 25th straight start for Travis Long, who was bothered by a knee late in camp. They weren't sure if he was going to play much today, but did a nice job batting that one down. The second down, 10. Again, the running back lined up straight behind the quarterback. Moore, the running back. Here's the snap. Yost drops back, throws to Moore, flaring out to the right side. Hit, spun around, and down he goes. Nolan Washington got him and spun him as he got down to about the, well, he's right back to the 36-yard line again, so no gain on the play. Let's send it down to Ian for a quick update. All right. Tool was okay, but he just went to the locker room, did the Cougar quarterback, uh, jogging off under his own power, but uh, he is in the locker room right now. All right, keep our fingers crossed that he might be able to come back. May not be needed this afternoon. 17-0 the score already. Signals called again. Yost, the quarterback, has the snap. Drops back, no fake. Throws right side, intercepted. It's picked off by Hoffman Ellis. Up the left side lines he goes. Down to the 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Washington State. Alex Hoffman. along the sideline and you weren't going to catch him and that was a big time let's see if we can nail this it is going to be about a 67 or 68 yard interception return for the touchdown often ellis with the interception that of course is first of the season all right, signals called once again. Here's the snap back. Lobestall a full spin and pitches back to Galvin running right. Cut back at the 15, down to the 10, and he's inside the 10 to about the seven yard line and out of bounds. And he should have another first down on that dodge and dart run to the right side by Ricky Galvin. Picked up 12 on the play to the seven. We're seeing exactly why the Cougar coaches are so excited about Ricky Galvin, and we're seeing him a year late because of the injury against Oklahoma State a year ago. But interesting to, to see with Winston and Marcus Moore, who we or Marcus Mason, I should say, we haven't seen, and Laguan Mitts in the backfield. The Cougs have a couple of different weapons, different looks. All right, we're set to go. I formation this time, a high snap, handoff, Galvin left, hole on the left side, touchdown, Washington State. Ricky took it in untouched that time as the left side of the offensive line just blew it open. And Ricky Galvin took that ball right through the gap and into the end zone to go. Ian, what did you see from down there? It was right in front of you. And Fullington pulling the left guard, and he just sealed it off. And Ricky Galvin, I don't know, the three of us might have been able to walk into the end zone with that block. Terrific play by the offensive line. Well, I wouldn't have made it, but uh, Fullington, young man, and uh, able to get out in front uh, with, the, with the verve of a veteran and experience, he's going to be a good one. Ball set, here's the snap back, quarterback, new quarterback in, I think, drops back, throws, left side, intercepted, Washington State has the ball, it is picked up dropped by the line, nope, they say it was dropped, it's incomplete. It was Sikopi Kafusi who dove in, and I thought from up here, picked off the ball, and then rolled over, but they say that he did not cleanly hold onto it, the ball hit the ground, it is incomplete, not an interception. That's a good call. So it'll be second down and 10, and the ball is still on the 33-yard line of Idaho State. It is Justin Arias, sophomore out of college of the Canyons, at quarterback for the Bengals. And signals called by Arias. 
There's the snap. It's high. He hands the ball off anyway, and a tackle made inside. And I think that was Kalfusi who made that tackle. No, it wasn't. Kalfusi is still up. It was, uh, was the other guy with the flowing mane, Tony Polay. Polay got him. It was at the 35 yard line. So a short gain, about two and a half, three yards on the play. Let's call it third down and a long seven to go. And the quarterback in there is Arias, takes the snap, drops back, three, four steps. Now he's going to run up. He's caught around the Travis ankles, Long. and down he goes. Travis Long got him. Second big tackle for Travis Long behind the line of scrimmage in this ball game this afternoon. That one back at the 32. Three-yard loss. And the kicking unit coming on now for Idaho State. That's David Harrington, who's out of Marina, California. Travis set a goal of double-digit sacks this year, and that's the first, we'll hope, of many this year. All right, they're ready with 33 seconds left on the clock. Here's the snap. Quarterback hands the ball off, running in. Winston broke a tackle. He's out over the 35 and has a first down just short of the 40. Winston on the run. Picked up about 13, 14 yards. 12 yards, and that's another, another 12. Cougar. First down. 24 seconds to go, God clock right running right. down. They may get off one more play here. They wouldn't have to. Don't have to, yeah. Uh, they could let the clock run down now. But they're going to run one more. Lobos Dahl in position to take the deep snap. Pounding his foot on the ground. The center hasn't snapped the ball. <laughs> now back it comes. Lobos Dahl drops, throws long. Left side, man wide open, and he has the ball. Marquise Wilson for a touchdown. Wilson was wide open. The only problem was I thought he was going to fall down. He got so wide open. A touchdown of about 60 yards for the Washington State Cougars. Marquise Wilson. And that'll make the score now 39 to nothing with an extra point to come. Lobestall to Wilson. 73 yards. Lobestall obviously saw that one-on-one -on -one coverage or no coverage on Wilson, if you will. That's why he was pounding that foot on the ground, wanted the ball snapped. So now the extra point tried by Fernie. Time is out on the clock. It says the first half is over. With the extra point, it is good. And so at the end of the first half, the Washington State Cougars have a lead of 40 to nothing over Idaho State here at Martin Stadium this afternoon. In a moment, we'll go down to Ian on the sideline, see if he can catch Coach Wolf on his way out. Get a few words from the head coach. But the Cougars have scored on almost every possession. Marshall Lobestall out of Oak Harbor takes the snap, full pivot, hands the ball off for a run to the right-hand side, carrying the ball to Guan Mitz. Mitz breaks a tackle or two. He's over the 50, down to the 45. And out of bounds as he got to the 43-yard line of Idaho State. Now here's the snap, the full turn, the handoff again, a run to the right-hand side, a full spin by the ball carrier. Mitz, hand down drill, and he breaks over the 30 and goes down to the 27-yard line. That was a run with a little bit of class to it by LeGuan Mitz. Ball ready to snap. Here's the snap back to the quarterback. Throw out to the left side. Ball caught. Ratliff again. 10-5. Head down to the one-yard line. As he got down to the one that time. Bobby Ratliff. Bobby Ratliff on the reception and out to the left-hand side. So just a couple of passes in a row in Ratliff's direction. Redshirt freshman out of Etowanda, California. But it'll be first down and goal at the one-yard line. First and goal from the one. There's the snap, handoff, Mitz in the middle, touchdown, Washington State. Touchdown scored to number six, LeBron Mitz. Cougars didn't wait, they just took touchdown. it right in. Well, Washington State has scored the first points of the second half. Mitz from one yard out. Game with 11-13 left to play in the third quarter. Shifting gears that time to get 12 yards. And again, the quick snap. Here's a throw to the end zone, and that ball caught for a touchdown, Washington State. Touchdown. That ball is caught by Christoph Williams. And we're getting folks that have not previously dented the stat sheet for Washington State now as Williams caught that pass for the touchdown. And that one went from Halliday to Williams. And now the extra point try. Fernie is on with 6.40 left to play here in the third quarter. 
Now we're ready again. Three receivers left, one to the right. Here's the handoff. They're going to run it off the right-hand side, down the right side with the ball. Marcus goes. Marcus Mason all the way to the 20-10-5. Touchdown, Washington State. Touchdown. Marcus Mason. They took that ball and swept around the right side. And each time the Cougars have been scored on today, they have come right back and scored a following touchdown this one by mason number 35 marcus mason last time the cougars have hit the 60 point mark bob was a back in the 1997 rose bowl run. year when they ran up 77 yards. on southwest louisiana here in pullman mason went 65 that time 